Hello, and welcome to another great goatee hunt from Minmax. I'm Ben Hansen. That's Jeff Marky. Hey. Fava. We're here to play an action pack game. Damn it. A fun game. Our very first game of the evening. <laughs> That's right. Disregard anything Nothing else that else. we might have tried to play. This is HyperDot, a game made in Minnesota uh, by friends of the show, published by Glitch, if you're familiar with GlitchCon. Um, you'll see what type of game this is. We'll go through some of the single player stuff and then probably check out multiplayer in a little bit here. I don't know if it has cloud saves. I would hope, but let's find out. Uh, full disclosure, this is HyperDot. They are supporting the MinMax Show podcast. Uh, mm -hmm. They're a supporter tier, so we give them a plug every week, and they're on the wall of heroes behind us for the main podcast. But we don't do pay-to-play stuff at MinMax, so this is genuinely just because I like this game, and I think it's mm -hmm. fun, so we should show it off here. And we could say whatever we want about it. <laughs> That's true, actually, yeah. 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 But we both like it, Yeah. unfortunately. So it works so. out well. Uh, okay, uh, are you jumping in here? Sure. Okay, great. Uh, you've been playing a little bit of this or a lot of this? Yeah, I played like 50 levels or something like that. Okay, I'm like on level 40 or something in the campaign. I just played a little bit uh, before I left on a vacation recently. Color? Oh, Midnight Screen, of course. That's right. Which, you know, might be changing up soon. Ooh. Okay, yeah, did I get to 40? So should we go to like one Yeah. and then jump ahead? So if you like Geometry Wars, stuff like that, it's basically they're cute name for it is a dodge em up it's a shoot em up where you're just dodging things which yeah. i think works very well as you can see here so there are shapes and all you have to do is not get hit by them that's right and this is the hardest level in the game by the way i've been working on this we for say, three yes. weeks um i really we can't go. handle it excellent job yes yeah, so there's different uh objectives every time of like okay survive this long or like collect this many pieces mm -hmm. stuff like that uh thanks for tuning in everybody Category isn't updated on Twitch. Damn it. You're totally right. Let's see if I can fix it here for you guys. Mm, 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 mm. Um, I've played a lot of the multiplayer in like a pre-release version. I think it was like a, an event a couple years ago. So I'm curious to go back into it and see how much has changed versus how much has stayed the same because I liked what I played, but it was a while ago. All right. Um... Have you hit any... You know, like levels that you that actually took a bunch of plays. Oh yeah, like thirty-five through forty. Like it wasn't mm. unreasonable, but it definitely was. Like this is this is starting to make yeah. me swear every time that I'm just like because there were times where I was milliseconds away from actually beating the level. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, Hyperdot. There we go. Updated on Twitch. Yeah. So different sh shapes have different behaviors, and these will will start going to the point you were at when they spawned, basically. So yes. instead of just going in a straight line, they'll go straight towards you. Yeah. Ayut says Minnesota. That's right. Made in Minnesota. Uh, Charles McGregor. Um, Mark DeLong says Thug Life. Uh, they're really enjoying your hat, Jeff. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, sci-fi game. Everybody Again, else not, not a lot of advance notice that we were going to do this. <laughs> I don't know why you're so stressed out. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, people say Dark Crystal will be competing against Warcraft 3 Reforged for a great Cody hunt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The game seemed fine. It's just not. In the future, Patreon supporters, if you could vote for a great Goatee Hunt, that's not exactly. We have to pay attention to it every. <laughs> not a tactics every game. Every dialogue, yeah. 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 Music also composed by the one developer here, which is no very advice. impressive. The game's on um, Steam and Xbox One. We're playing on Steam right now. Uh, Smack says, "Ask if I've ever played Sound Dodger." No, I haven't actually. Is it like this? Do you like it? What's it like? Yeah, so triangles are jerks that actually home in on you. Yeah. Which is... Grizzle Gaming says, seems like it would work better with a mouse and keyboard. Is that an option? I'm actually not sure. Yeah, God, I, I know, know they support, like, the adaptive adaptive controller and stuff like that, but... Okay, so should we jump ahead? Let's jump some? ahead. We're going to play with controller, even though uh, yeah. it might support everything else. Smack says that Sound Dodger is a lot like this. That's cool. So this is 40? No. Uh... I don't know what this one is. Okay. But it's one of the dark levels where... Which is very cool looking. Yeah. They cast shadows that you can't see past. Mm. And there are other levels that I'm sure we will see where it's... You have to be in a, in a circle for a certain amount of time. Yeah. It's not just a countdown. Also, I like the ones where there's... Oh, there it well, is. Just like this. And there I like the go. ones where there's like a power-up that you get. Or not a power-up, just an object where it kind of like blasts the area clear around you. Mm -hmm. It's a satisfying feeling to get that and just be like, okay, clear this spot, clear this spot. Are you a, a Robotron guy? No. 
Have you ever played much of Tornado 84? A little. Oh yeah. my god. I've played so much of it. It's my favorite arcade game. Well, I guess Sunset Riders is number one, but that it, this game also reminds me of that, of just like rapid fire, quick rounds, but right. just brutal. Okay. Uh, let's go down to where I was at with 40 here. Can I try? Yeah. Uh, also... You can just assume I pet beat it on my first try, but we'll yeah. give it to you instead. Oh, of course. Um, somebody saying that it's a perfect iOS game. It is not on iOS, but they might be interested in doing that in the future. Is this where I am? What's going on here? Maybe you're on 39. You must be on 39. Why are controls suddenly not working? You s- <laughs> Don't look at me like I'm an idiot. What did you do? Did we move the mouse? Oh. Oh. It's weird. Do you have control at all? Let's try to go back to my menu here. Wow, how did you do that? It's not important. Visibility. You had one, all you had to do was press the button. I don't think that was me. Are you in control at all? No. Nope. Is it me on the other controller? Ah, I wonder if I prioritize the other controller for some reason. Well, all right, I'll use this. This is my normal gaming controller. Ah, and we'll go with a blue setup the way it should be. Okay, get out of here, mouse. All right, so... Oh, so I haven't done 39? It doesn't look like it, because you got check marks on all the other yeah, ones. Right. So. Oh, the ice levels. Uh, uh, yeah. There always has to be ice levels. Okay. I like to, even if I'm stationary, I like to keep a little swirl going. Mm-hmm. I think it's important for morale. Yeah, because the ice is more like space, where you don't you don't actually just slow down, you know? It's, yeah. it's not like you're going past and then decelerating. You are just always moving in the last direction that you push. Right, right. Some, also, some there's of these the, uh, were getting to me too. Yeah, you can see there's a little green power up that I got the last round there. That's uh, health. It's good for like a barrier of one. Oh my god! I, there it is over there. I could really use that. I cannot wait to see what these like. I'm sure level number 100 is just absurd. Yeah. And I think there might even be more levels beyond that. There's also a level creator, which is cool. I haven't yeah. messed around with too much. I messed around with it a little. And yeah. it, was, it seemed cool. You just get to set the different it, yeah, components and it stuff. It seems like you can do basically anything that any of these levels are based on. Yeah. Have you gotten to any of the super hot ones? No. Oh, where they move? No. Yeah, it like the, the dots and everything will move depending on the speed that you're moving. Okay. Which is oh fun. my god. This also, one this one took me a long time, I think. Oh really? Yeah. Oh good. I'm looking forward to blowing it. Uh this game is also excellent podcast game, which is my yeah. kind of game. Oh god. Uh, oh, okay. Even though that refresh screen for like getting back in is so fast, it's mm-hmm. still like could be faster. It should Sometimes, be instantaneous, yeah. right? Because when you're doing these levels again and again, like seeing that bar load, even for that split second, it's like, I cannot. Jeff, um, you got it. Did you have a tough time with this level because it looks like a pizza and you tried looking at the screen? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Why am I thinking I can blast through that? You can't. <laughs> That's so stupid. All right. Man, I watched this Care 11 report, which is like a Minnesota news station. I'm not even going to go in the middle. I'm just going to wait for them to come out. Mm-hmm. Um, on the creation of this game, and like with Charles the Crater and stuff. And Oh, slow down time. And it's so sad seeing like still... And like the reporters were young. And they still just sounded so stupid when talking about video yeah. games. It was just so frustrating. It's like, just have somebody who knows something. Instead of just like at the end being like, oh, the game's available on Microsoft. Purchase it there. And like, they wouldn't even like say the name of the game mm. at the end of the report. It drove me insane. If only there were a bunch of oh editors who knew about video games in Minnesota that they could <gasps> Unemployed hire. editors. Yeah. Well, they can't hire you wearing that hat. Let's tell them this is what the cool kids are wearing nowadays. <laughs> They'll believe me. Everyone who knows video games. Oh my god. This is not going well. It's just six. How hard can it be? That's right. Mother effer. Tell me if that honing SOB is coming out on me. Okay. There's one coming. He's coming right What does he want you. from me? 
wants your pizzas. My little pizza? Ah! Okay, Jeff, I'm feeling better about Dark Crystal now. <laughs> oh my god. This is sad. All right. So watch where, okay. watch where they're I know. crossing okay. each other. Yep, yep, yep. And just hop between those places. Well, that one was going right up your butt. <laughs> this is you, baby. <sighs> I would buy the soundtrack. I think it's available as well. Part of the Dark Souls, yep. no doubt. Krista Knudsen, did Jeff see that his Game of the Year for 2019 is releasing in full a few days early for those who already bought it in early access? Oh, for Dreams? No, I didn't know that. That's interesting. So if you already own it, then you get access to the campaign and stuff early? Huh. Uh, this is not an elite controller. It's the my main controller. I can never remember. It's a Wolverine. Is it a Wa Ra Razor Wolverine, I think? But I, I love it a lot. The most stressful part is knowing there's a hard mission coming up next. That is very true. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. See, I, I saw that triangle and I got scared and ran away. Get out of here. Which Ugh. one's that? Which one's the purple power up? Uh, it blows up stuff around it, I think. Okay. Which is. Those power ups also just entice you to your doom. Hmm. Oh. You were supposed to let me know that there was a triangle coming. Have you noticed that, like, when you press a button, it makes a little ping? Yeah. I assume that'll be for helpful like, for, like, multiplayer or something yeah, for don't... figuring out which one you are, but it is a weird thing. I'm like, does this have any effect? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. Easy. There we go. There we go. One more. Just one more. No shield left. Yeah! yeah there we go. Want to go for multiplayer? Sure. Great. Maybe we can come back to this. Oh, man. All right. I definitely want to go up and play more of this on my own while listening to the podcast later. Because it is... When you're not being judged. Honestly, yes. whole internet. Yes. Uh, is, Goblet? is it really not working still? Oh, wait. There we go. Great. Oh, wait. Did not... Are you breaking my beloved Xbox One controller from GameStop? Okay. What? Did I pick? Okay. Is it shorting out? No, I think it, I think we're good now. Maybe. Um. Okay. So let's do random, random level, modifiers is what I'm curious about. So I think the way that I remember playing it was making it fully randomized every time, and maybe that is within the game once we start already, but let's try just going for random stage at first here. Are you in? No. Is it your controller? Oh, so you can should be able to join here. Okay. Okay, great. Oh, so it is randomized then, I believe. So now we're a little bit slower mm -hmm. and we just have to survive. It's a bigger arena. Okay, I'm blue and Jeffum's green. Okay, easy, easy. Oh, see. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, so what's it doing here? So is it? Okay, uh, it is just randomizing yeah, it. Great. I... This is exactly what I was hoping for. Okay, so now we're fast. They're oh my slow. God. You're well, f Jeffum. Come back over here, Hanson. No, no, come to this cluster down here. See, I'm. I'm oh, like, we're so, ah, we're uh, so fast. All right. Um, great. Collect. Sorry, I keep on. Oh no! So, the spiky. I'm trying to remember what that. Means. I have no idea what that does. Oh, ice. Oh my God. Perfect. You're lucky I got us got us out of that one so fast. Let's see in the modifiers here. So, so it's showing what it's gonna be. Okay. So speed, fast, normal. Blah 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 blah. And then collision. So collides. You can collide with somebody else. Hazardous. Maybe that's... We, we hurt each other? Hit each other? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. And then size and stuff. Okay. Great. Uh, yeah. Sure. You got it. 
Okay. Oh, uh, what happened there, little Jeffum? What happened there? Oh, is it not randomizing anymore? Yeah, I think he broke the... Yeah, probably. Gah, perfect. Okay, hang on. Or, or, let's or we'll sure. do it again. No, let's jump in here. Uh, settings. That's not gonna... Just... Okay. There, I died so that we could we could go back. Now my so now it's just. <laughs> is that controller really breaking down? It's it's freaking. Try and plug in that sucker. Isn't it plugged in? Yeah, but can't is you this... unplug it from the top there? Okay. Is it really losing it? Because that's always been like my classic backup. Uh, somebody asked if there's a colorblind mode. Let's. Uh, I, th I think there are colorblind options. I think there are as well. So in sex accessibility. Yeah, there we go. Tons of options. Okay, how do you... How did we break random? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out too. Maybe because I went in and touched the settings. So let's just end the match. And then go back. Leave. And go back to multiplayer. Great. I'll be blue again. Okay. So then maybe this is just it. And then yeah. you can see. Okay. So just pure random. So now it's area. So we have to be in this area. Oh. It's just like that. Okay. Wait, am I? What color? Am I? Wait. I'm green now. Oh, well, that's oh. just confusing. Yeah, that is confusing. Okay. Well, it's because one of us hit it faster. Okay. I'm green and spiky. So... We can definitely kill each other. That's nice to know. Is your controller vibrating right now? Yeah. Okay. That's good to know. Yours isn't? No, it is. Okay. But I I was wondering if it was having a breakdown or... Wait, why am I so much bigger than I'm that? having a breakdown. Oh, every time we get hit, we get smaller. Yeah. Oh, well, now I'm just basically invincible. <sighs> what happened up there, Chief? I died. Uh, people are asking if it's available in VR. I don't believe so. Oh my god. Oh! Really? Do we hit the decks in time? Maybe. Or. Wait, I think what? I was a thousandth of a second past oh my you. Oh god. Oh, this feels like a nightmare. <sighs> well, I got two tokens. Damn it! Nope. This. Ah! Did we swap spots at the end there? I don't know. Oh my Holy god! Holy crap! <laughs> All right, I got these. I got these. I got this one. Eesh. Eesh. Uh, uh. Ah. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Eesh. What is? Okay, so this is a uh, super hotting a little bit here. Oh my god. Oh, I think we tied on that one. <laughs> uh-huh. I love the uh, the colors blending there when we get near each other. Oh great. So all I have to do is get one and then I won. Oh, uh Slayer fifty four says I played this at Glitchfest years ago. Yeah, it's been in development for a long time. It's just this one guy, Charles, uh, that actually made it and released it. Um, so yeah, it's been in the works for a while. I like when we're super tiny, though. Yeah, this is great. Just one little pimple on the giant face of God here. Oh, God. Easy. No! <laughs> uh, Sci-Fi says, what are your thoughts on the wonderful 101 Kickstarter? I like it, but I was traveling, and so I was a little bit confused. Like, so Platinum... I thought that Nintendo owned Wonderful 101, and so... But Platinum had a Kickstarter for 50 grand. You could port it to other consoles, which I'm just confused legally about what's going on there and how it only costs 50 grand to port a game and how Platinum didn't have that. I don't know what's going on, but I'm happy for them. I've always it wanted to play that illegal. game. I assume they're on top of it, but it also just... I don't know about this whole crowdfunding thing, Jeff. Um, it seems like a fad. Yeah. Okay, this is good. I like the sense of momentum in this one. I like our size in this one. Uh, I don't like, I like that you won. I like the fact that I win in this one. We gotta check our wins after this. Oh god. Oh, the stars are the worst. The alternating stars. What was that? 
This is a bomb. Oh, oh, God. oh no, no! <laughs> you you reversed my controls. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Uh, I'm still winning. Okay, so. Okay. Seven four. Yeah, yeah, total. yeah. Is your controller vibrating now? Uh, not right now. It does in the game. Well, I know there it, it does definitely sometimes. does. Damn All right. It. Damn it, Jeffum. Oh God. Stop attacking me! <laughs> that did not work to my advantage. <sighs> okay, so just a reminder, I'm green, Jeffum's blue. We picked very similar colors. Yeah, that was a mistake, but it looks beautiful. Oh uh, my god. Okay, so as long as you die. Uh, Thank you very much. Well done, well Thank done. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh my god. Perfect. Walk right into that crap. This reminds me of the cell stage in Spore, says Adam. Yes, correct. <laughs> it's like better gameplay in Spore. Oh, no. no! The stars! All right, now okay. you're just showing up. Well, no, I, I have to get one of those, which I did. Let's see, what are we at? 10 to 6. Ooh. You want to play to 15? Sure. I'll win at whatever number you want. Mm -hmm. Oh, you haven't seen my secret weapon. Paying attention. Don't get that. No, 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 no! <laughs> Reverse control! Uh. Oh, shoot. Ah! Great. Love it. Love it. Love it! Shoot. You're having a meltdown. No meltdown here. No meltdown here. Uh. Yes! You were going for the other reverse, too, I weren't you? I thought of it. Oh, this is weird. It's, like, very fast, but also friction's really high, it feels like. <laughs> no more. No more. Damn it! Yes. You're not shot. 11-7. Yep, yeah, I saw it. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, oh, there we go. That's the one that blasts the area. Yeesh. Yeah, that's the one. That truly sucks. I don't think so. What's that? I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh man, twelve eight. Okay, I can do this one all day. This feels like a commercial about bacteria. <laughs> oh, that's my specialty. Thank you. My controller is constantly rumbling now. <laughs> You're the one that broke Nice this. that you put the cheat code in on that one. <laughs> this means I have to buy a new Xbox One controller? Yep. Ugh. Perfect. Oh, look at this. This is working. 12, Reverse 10. controls and rumbling your controls. Wait, did I lose that one? Yeah, you did. Didn't you? I don't know. I think know. you did. I think it says green is the best. Oh, oh my god. We got a botch on our hands here. We're one playing point 20, away from tying. Right? <laughs> 15. Oh my god. No. No. Oh. So, I still oh, because you were in the space for yep. longer? Yep. Oh, you son of a. Oh, That's all that matters. Slow. Oh, stars. Oh. Yes. Damn it. Yes. Damn it. Choke. Oh. No. Game point. Game point. No, 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 no. Stay in. You get out of here. Okay. This is my you spot. You blow it. Nope. You blow it. Go! Oh! <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. What? Give me that. Give me that too. Oh, oh no! Yes. Yes. Take yes. him out! Take him out! No. Damn it! And no! Well done. Well done. I want to go back to those other levels just to show okay. my worth. Prove that I'm a man. I'm curious what the custom levels is like. Oh. Oh, that's where you save your yeah. stuff? Yeah. Okay. If you make your own. Gotcha. Okay. Double crossed. How's Apex going? Good question. Um, I haven't played season four yet. Um, are people enjoying it so far with season four? I haven't even noticed like the updates. I assume it's a new character. Uh, I played that game right before we did our game of the year deliberations last year for MinMax, but I haven't checked it out since. Well, how much time do I got left? Like eight hours? No, nope, okay. you got it. Great, perfect. Uh, Hanson would never take the dirty money of Pop-Tarts. What is it? Oh, you should disclose that the stream is sponsored by Pop-Tarts. 
we are not legally allowed to disclose that. Uh, they have very tight rules what we can and can't disclose for Pop Tarts. Did you watch that Men's Snacks trip? No, I haven't yet. Okay. But they do pay us in Pop Tarts, and the, the filling is just cash when you break it open. <laughs> That's right. And again, cash tastes better. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Okay. Okay, this is just basic survival. I just did one that's pretty much like this. Ah! Their logos are a bunch of little Just 20 seconds, logos. dude. I know. How hard can it be? Just stay away from when they... Oh my god. Explode. Is yeah. this level called Bullet Storm? Is it? I think so. It's fun. Um, there are a hundred levels, I believe, but there might be more. Oh god. Five seconds. I apologize to my neighbors if they're watching this or hearing this. <laughs> I just apologize to my neighbors. Okay. I love the animation of them spinning Ten before seconds. they pop. Get out of here. Get. You got five seconds left. Yep, 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 Oh! <laughs> 17. Oh, that's dastardly. Uh, Daniel C. asked how are the new pretzel pop tarts. I didn't care for them. Amy, producer Amy liked them and min snacks, which you can find on your YouTube channel, but uh, it's just, I don't want salt in my Pop-Tart. I don't want a Pop-Tart to mm. begin with, but then it's just, it's too much. It's them reaching. I would take pretzel M&Ms any day of the week. Uh, there we go. See, it wasn't so Wasn't bad. even thinking about it. I as soon as you distracted yourself. Yeah. Are right, you ready this one? Sure. Oh, sure, the, the dark ones. New character in Apex Legends has a death proof ability. How does that work? What do you mean? How are yeah, they death proof? That, that just sounds like cheating. No, 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 no. Paul Wolf, just tuning in. What is this game and how do you guys like it so far? This go. is Hyperdot, which again, full disclosure, they are a supporter of MinMax and we uh, run a plug for them every episode of the MinMax Show podcast. Um, but we're choosing to play this because we both actually like the game and Dark Crystal was not exactly a page turner, as Yoda once said. Um, so this is available on Steam and yeah, Xbox think One. Said that. Yeah, he did. He's talking about the books in Last Jedi. Oh, he said, yeah. Those Jedi books aren't page turners. Uh, Apex Legends. Um, oh, the Death Proof. I believe it drops their health, but they don't die. It's like a hyper armor kind of thing. Drops hmm. their health, but they don't die. So then does it only last for like a certain amount of time? I don't understand. Huh. After which they wouldn't have a lot of health left? Yeah, maybe. That's weird. What an odd one. Okay. I got this. We're doing it. Mm -hmm. I like when you start in the circle. That feels really good. That is nice. Home base. Mark DeLong, have you guys beat Dragon Ball Z Kakarot yet? No, I haven't. No. I've only got back to it a little bit. I've been really busy, but definitely that is... I think... I want to get go. through a bunch more levels of HyperDot because it's great podcasting. Um, and then I want to play uh, a bunch more Kakarot as well. Although I also need to still beat uh, Chrono Trigger for the yeah yeah for the big game club discussion. Have you made much progress in Chrono Trigger? How close is the Mountain of Woe? Oh, I don't know. I really haven't played beyond where we stopped for the last game club discussion for The Deepest Dive, which is on our YouTube channel. You can find it there. It's the most thorough conversation about Chrono Trigger you'll hear in podcast form. Oh my God, I need that. Get out of here, you doves of death. Um, I don't think we had too much time left, though. So I don't think there's as yeah, much as you think. Yeah, but there's a bunch of side missions, too, right? Yeah. Have you started doing any no, of those? No, and I, I want to. That's why I've been trying to get... Up to where I'm hoping it will warn me at some point that yeah. I'm about to beat it or something. I mean, the game's so friendly overall. It seems like the type of game that would let you know. Yeah. Did you see that pro maneuver, by the way? That was that was good. Thank you. Thank you. Stars don't scare you. Hey! Starfield, again. Uh, just counting on that, but that's a lawsuit. They're gonna get sued on that. Oh God. Okay. Stop reading the chat, yeah. Hanson. You need to you play Hyperdot. Good name. It's amazing that name wasn't taken. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, fellas. Oh my god. Flew too close to the sun. Here we go. 
that uh, I was talking about that Care 11, that news report about mm-hmm. the development of Hyperdot that I watched. Oh my god. Um, Did they actually play it? Yeah, and she's like, I beat the developer. I'm better than the developer in his own game. It's like, yeah, okay. I'm sure he, she won like two rounds or something. I was like, I'm the best. I hated her, so I'm trying to say no. It was very, it was very sweet. I'm glad that they did a report on it. But she <laughs> this question where she goes, she goes, I have a belief. This is her question. She goes, I believe that every dream has an address. Have you found your dream yet? <laughs> What? And what's the address? Yeah. I don't know. That's weird. Like, it's just so bizarre for, like, an interviewer to be like, I have a personal saying. It makes no sense, but it goes a little something like this. Hey, man. Gotta have something to remember him by. Yeah, I guess that's true. I will never forget. I believe every dream has an address. Okay. God! What's, what's the postal code of your address? What's the... God! Come on, you got this. Thank you. Just talk about Pop Tarts again. Yeah, Distract you're right. yourself. Yeah, you're right. A part that I cut out from the um, from the Min Snacks is I quoted friend of the show Dave Clapp, who during the Smash Brothers documentary back at Game Informer, we're talking about Pop Tarts, and he just said the phrase, "the top part of a Pop Tart," mm. and I think it's a very a fun classic. thing to think about. Was he? Did he mean that? I don't know if he intentionally was trying to be clever. Did he realize how ingenious that was when know. he said it? I don't know. It's it's really up there with, I'd rather have a bottle in front of me than a frontal lobotomy. You know, in terms mm. of just good twists on words. And so you did it again. Pop right. tarts. Why? Yes. They're okay. the key. Don't ever say that. Oh, this one's so slow. Well, at least it sounds nice. This doesn't seem so bad. Oh. You got it. Okay. Look at this. This is cozy. Oh yeah. my god. Well, that's when they get you. But that was 100% on me because I still don't think this one's that bad. Look at this. I'm like kissing yeah, the side wait, of that dude. train. Mm-hmm. Okay. So maybe are they all going to spawn in like really effed positions here? See, they, oh my god. They lure you in with those first couple. Not right now they don't. What? That was coming I right for you. I literally was just standing there. Oh, no. Tis just I, the fake-ass gamer boy. Waiting on the train tracks. <laughs> do you ever think about when you're crossing railroad tracks, just like, what, what, would, what would the train do if I just laid down on this right now? It would run you over. Would it? Yeah, it can't stop that fast. How much room do they need? Uh, I think it depends on how many cars they're carrying. Let's but... say they had... What's an average train? 98 cars? You're dead! <laughs> Could they see me, though? Like, what is it, like a quarter mile to stop or something? I just feel like I have a lot to learn about trains. Yeah, but I also feel like they oh they God. wouldn't even try to stop, you know? They'd be like, what's that idiot doing on the... Oh, they like, would... like, unless they thought you were unconscious, I don't know that they would start braking before, like, the point of... They would no slam return. on the brakes for a human. They'd honk. Yeah, and, they would and, honk. And I think they'd slam on the brakes too. But if if they saw if they just saw a guy standing on the tracks. <laughs> Not standing, head laying down on the tracks. Yeah, maybe then they would. And doing the Bill Murray Groundhog Day like blank blank. Ooh, mm-hmm. like the universal symbol for I'm about to end this. I wonder how often they're going fast enough that they wouldn't be able to stop if they if they couldn't see what was coming. Oh my god! You they know, couldn't see what was coming. Yeah, like like if if there was a curve coming, would they be going fast enough that they wouldn't be able to to stop? You know, like depending on how long it takes. Like, are are they ever going fast enough that they can't see, you know, a quarter of a mile ahead? Oh my god. Um. Yeah, probably. Well, I mean, how sharp can a turn really be on a railroad, though? Well, if there's you know like trees and other stuff. It's true. I didn't think about the trees. That's got to be quite the moral dilemma if you're a yeah I bet train conductor. I bet a lot of train conductors have killed people. Probably. And they should all be tried. Oh, my God. Just like I'm trying again and again. Yeah, still the, still the train level, which you said was so easy. 
Yeah, it's for big fat babies. It's just you get so zoomed in that you forget about what's coming through the wall. Yeah, it's the oh other it's the other side. Oh, is even, that what's coming through the wall? Even though they're all Oh my god, like I literally go backwards into that turd. Yeah, you only have like eight points that you have to concern yourself with? Yeah. It's just eight points. I like the base pizza. on the... Pizza. It's another pizza. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah, you're right. I uh, went on that trip to New Orleans, Jeff. Uh -huh. Oh, God. I was there for four days. I just weighed myself when I got back. Put on 10 pounds. Oh, my God. <laughs> 10 pounds of New Orleans In food. four days. Yeah. To be fair, though, I did get back from the airport and said, F it. I'm going to eat a big Chipotle burrito. <laughs> nice. Right before you weighed yourself? That's true. Because I really wanted to stack the deck. Okay, what's a human being? Oh! oh! <laughs> you got to go faster than that, man. They were <laughs> Oh my they god. They were ready for you. That Dang is it. That is the end point. If you haven't beat it by then. Oh my god. They just say F you. All right, I'm going to beat this. You focus on the chat. Okay. What are I got people a line saying? Break. How many times you guys rode a train? How many times I rode a train? Uh <laughs> I like trains a lot. Are we talking like stops? Um, probably, well, Japan. I mean, do subways count? No. No. I, I think we're talking good old fashioned. Yeah. I think probably. Choo-choo trains. Choo-choo. Probably seven. You've been on seven trains? I think so. Because like, back in 2010, I like went up and down the entire East Coast, and that was like a lot of on trains. trains. Yeah. You're a weird dude. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I was riding the rails. Does Jeffem love frog like Hanson now? That's a yes. Um, do any of you have pets? I have my pet frog. He lives in Chrono Trigger. No, I... Kyle has cats, right? And a daughter. Right. Yeah. Cats and a daughter. It's raining like cats and daughters. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, but I don't have any pets. No, either do I, and I don't think Cereal oh, does shooter. either. No, he doesn't. Do enemies spawn in the same place every time? They do for individual levels like this. Uh, I think some might be random. I don't think so. Okay. But some of them will change the the trajectory that they're going depending on where you are. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, my God. Ah! Did you guys like the Groundhog Day Super Bowl ad? Great question. Um... I, because there are teases of it with Ned Ryerson, and I was like, oh, great. That seems like Super Bowl-level talent is like, let's get this old guy out here, Steve Kablowski, is that his name? Um, so then when the commercial starts, it's like, okay, you got him. It's like, oh, my God, they actually got Bill Murray to do it, and that's stunning. I don't know how much they had to pay him to get him to actually – and it's not just like, hey, come over here and do this shoot, because they actually had him on location, which is in northern Illinois where they shot Groundhog Day. So the idea of like, all right, Bill Murray, not only – can you not stumble out of your bedroom and film this in LA or wherever you live, but like you have to fly all the way out to bum F uh, Northern Illinois. So uh, yeah, I thought it was kind of fun. I mean, it kind of, I was thinking about it a lot because I really like Groundhog Day. I was thinking about it way too much about just like, what a slap in the face for like Groundhog Day. The idea that like, oh no, Phil, you're stuck back in the cycle because you need to drive this truck over and over again because it's so fun like it's just so stupid to be like the one thing to surpass the power of true love and like the spirit of giving in life is trucks are really sweet to drive <laughs> like it's a really gross commercial Perfect. if you overthink it sorry jeff did you see that commercial? i haven't no okay and now you've completely ruined it for me that's fine did you watch super bowl no i did not it was a really good game i Shoot. i heard that uh, let's see. Can you do a train documentary called Min Tracks? Okay. <laughs> uh, have I talked about this? I literally want to do a train documentary, and uh, the name is an interesting idea. Maybe you should stay tuned uh, for potential future reveals. Ooh. <laughs> He's already made a train documentary. That's right. Uh, let's see. Or a documentary on bags called Min Sacks. No, actually, we have a different game plan yeah, for that's, mid sacks. That's, we 
can't really get into it yet. Related. <laughs> That's right. So let's see. That's where uh, we put the cohort's testicles on display. <laughs> you have to match them with the right. You know what? This is not good. Yeah, no. <laughs> Matthew Clark says, oh boy, I'm excited to finally catch you all live. Now I don't have to do my homework alone. Yeah. Which, if I hope your homework is geometry. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Uh, how many bayonets did you eat, Hanson? Uh, beignets. Yes, that's what I meant. I was just <laughs> making sure that you knew what they were called. Yeah, um, I had, I guess, a total of three at uh, Café du Monde in New Orleans because people were like, oh, beignets are all over the place, but like, if you're going to get them, go for like the number one spot, just like the original like, Café du Monde. And so it was. they were surprisingly good. It's just basically like a big, chunky mini donut is how I describe it. It's like there's so much powdered sugar that like your first bite, it's like taking the cinnamon challenge because like I bit into it. It was like, <gasps> like I just couldn't <laughs> breathe. So I was like coughing it because I inhaled Perfect. so much powdered sugar. Oh my no, God. You, you blew it. Cause it's, oh, you can you can still do it. They're, ah! They were moving pretty slow. Oh, you only needed one more. No. Uh, Adam Walker, Texas Ranger, yeah. says, Ben, I just moved into a new apartment and wanted to make sure you knew that I found a Blockbuster membership card dated October 2002. It's in pristine condition in a laminated card holder. That's amazing. And this new apartment is definitely in Texas, right? Because you're not a liar, Adam? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it is. Okay, great. That's very cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a tough find because it's like, what are you going to do with it? Mm -hmm. You want to hang on to it, but you also are kind of a weirdo for hanging on to it. No offense, Adam. <laughs> you know, but it's like, that, you can't throw it away. I found in my drawer the other day... Uh, I don't know what it's doing, but there was a bunch of napkins from New Year's Eve 2001. Mm. That, like, I don't know if they were left in this house or what. And so I know what to do with them. So like, I'm just going to bring them to my girlfriend's place for a dinner and have a funny surprise of whipping out napkins from 2001. How'd that go over? Honestly, she broke up with me. Oh, well, there you go. And I used the napkins for tears. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Just like we all did back in 2001 when... Tim Burton's Planet of the Apes came out. Oh, God. Uh, let's see. Favorite Jeff Quark experience? <laughs> the time that he watched us play Hyperdot and typed into <laughs> Twitch. Favorite mm, Jeff Quark experience. Yes, we're not falling for that alias, <laughs> Bob Buell. Um, let's see. It's probably like just traveling with him. And then we spent a lot of time in England together. And we would just go to um, Indian restaurants and just drink some. You're still Indian on beer. this level, Jeff. Um, <laughs> <laughs> will you get out of my hair? Um, yeah, otherwise, yeah, he's made me laugh so much. Yeah, uh, throughout my life. I think it's been all my makeout sessions with him. Yeah, my favorite. Can you imagine making out with that beer? Hot. <laughs> Does Jeff um love Hanson? Yeah. I think we love each other now. Do you feel like you like me more since leaving Game Informer? Uh, yeah, probably. Okay, interesting. I don't, I mean, it's not that I did not like you. But, uh, but we've, just, uh, we've spent a lot more time stuff. together, I think, oh, at this point. okay. Well, that's not true. We we spent every day together yeah, before. But it's, but we it's, sat right next to each other. It's more... It's better quality time, I think. Right. It's more direct, directly spending time with each other as opposed to me being like, I can't be on that video, leave me alone. Yeah. I have to write this thing. Yeah, and then you post in our politics channel, get a load of this. That's right. That was honestly one of one of the like best oh quality God. of life things after I got fired is yeah. you created a Slack for everyone who got fired, which was yeah. very nice so that we could all be together in the same slack again yeah and then you created a politics channel where you me and cork just complain constantly about everything that's wrong with the world that's and we're right. not going to say what kind of politics <laughs> so you can yeah. i think it's mainly anti-square propaganda yeah um yeah for sure and also something that i like is the fact that we never invited anybody else to it because <laughs> yeah. like everyone else is a blowhard we don't want to do it i'm yeah. scared of somebody getting on a soapbox in that channel which yeah. is not what politics are supposed to be no just the three of it's us it's just for goddamn three men and a baby that's right we're just waiting on the baby well you found him and he's the guy trying to beat what i thought was such an easy yeah, level see, of you hyper yourself you guys start talking about pop tarts again yeah you're right uh mark 
Deleg asks, is that your favorite hat, Jeff? I'm definitely not. It's the one that I could find when I was flying out my door. <laughs> and I said, Jeff, I'm, I fucked up the schedule. Please come down here yes. now. Uh, Alan Casey asks, where's Tim Turry? Did he leave GI? <laughs> that um, was a while ago. What year is it? Hey, look at that! Oh! That's oh, what you needed. Nothing. Did the triangles not come out? You beat it before the I triangles did. Yeah, came yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Tim Turry left GI in 2015. No, 2016? 2015? Yeah, I think 2016. Um, and then he went to Capcom. Mm -hmm. And then he went which, to PlayStation. Yeah, which seemed like a marriage made in heaven. Yeah, for sure. Um, and now he's at PlayStation. <laughs> no comment in any marriages. Um, and uh, you can hear him on the PlayStation broadcast. All right, you want to play one more to count of five? <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I'm dealing with the whole <laughs> time. Constantly. Yeah. Okay, so I'm blue this time. Okay. Or is I that confusing? Be... Let's be different things. So I'll be um, I'll be brown. Okay, I'll be purple. Okay. And we're going to five. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, I'm. Gross, orangish brown. First of five. Oh, I guess I'm great. <laughs> there we go. All what's, right. What's your secret? How are you so good? Okay, so one you're just tuned second in. it went. That's right. You just tuned in. Uh, this is multiplayer hyper dot uh, where it just randomizes. Oh my god. Randomizes me winning. Yeah, you can have it randomize the settings. Okay, first of five. Oh my god. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. That guarantees a win. Yep. Oh, no. Uh, that guarantees a win. Oh. No. Oh, yeah. Flew too close to the sun. Oh, yeah. I'm usually just the glowing orb here. It's not so much brown or gray. Come on. This one has train ones, Hanson. Why don't you just... I'm quivering. Fly right into them. <laughs> like you did for... 30 minutes. <laughs> I wanted to give you some time with the chat. Okay. Oh, that was close. How many shields did you have? I only had one, but it immediately burst. How many burst. shields did you have? Oh, my God. Oh, I still have to get one in order to win, which I did. So, there you go. A load. Four to oh, game point. You can do it. It would be an epic comeback to finish uh -huh. this stream. I think you're just better at HyperDot than I am. Oh, yeah! Okay. He's starting. Ow, ow! Now it gets scary. Get out of here. Get out. Oh. Yeah, you oh, just want it for me. You. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I say five? Anticlimactic. I meant ten. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, then. Okay, hang on. Hang on. What's going on? Yes. Oh, Eat no, that. you backwards, reversed it. Backwards ass controls. Oh. Oh, I still got to get to another one, though. I can't do it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Tie. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait. Wait. I didn't like win? Four? No, I guess. Oh, no. Well, now I did. Okay, no, so now we're going to 10. We're playing at 10. Oh, no. No! Oh, oh, and we can push against each other. Get out of here, you butthole. Ah! I... Uh, I, I still gotta get up there, oh, which I did. Okay. Damn it. Six to two. Okay. I had that one. Fair enough. Stay away. Oh. Okay. Tie it again. Yep. Okay. So six to two. Just don't touch me. Oh, this is fast. Oh no no no! Thank you very much. It's like someone's making the comeback of a lifetime. You just jinxed yourself. Nope. Pow. I jinxed myself positively. Just basic survival. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ah! Survive You think that. you can outsmart it. 7-3. Oh, Big Bertha. <laughs> oh. Okay, now you die. Can you die? No. Mm. Oh, my oh. God. Ah! How did you lose so many shields yeah, when I was okay. the one with the backwards controls? Okay. Oh man, I've gotten so many of those too. God. Even man. if I died now. I'm I'm driving into these things. Yeah, this is embarrassing. Yeah, Jeffum, I agree. Ooh. 
what happened there? <laughs> I instantly died. Do? Get out of here with that. I think you just don't like the randomized Forfeit. settings. Yes. They just ram into me. Okay. God, you start so big. And then now look at you. It is a nice kind of ketchup mechanism. Eat but dude. Oh, okay. Is, yep. Ah! Reverse controls! Game point. Game point. Game point for me to get to five. <laughs> <laughs> I like that that's an option. Yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, yes. oh, what is that exploding thing? Uh, I think it just blows up shapes within that area. Oh, okay. But then there's that one. Yeah, so I don't know then. Oh, I complete. Oh. I completely lost where I was there. I, did I reverse your controls? I don't know. Okay, could have. Still game point. Yep. Did we get this in the exact same time? What are you doing? Why are It was you way too sensitive. <laughs> what are you doing? A nine six. Okay, come on. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, not the trains. Uh, oh. Get him! Get him! Uh. Yes. Nine seven. All right, come on, gray boy. Don't choke. Come on, Theon, don't choke, gray handsome. boy. I really. Uh... Yes. Nine eight. Okay, now me don't choke. Okay, now the classic <laughs> refrain: me don't choke. <laughs> Eat butt. No, that bomb. Yes! That bomb blew me up. Okay, this is it, baby. Nine nine. Game point. And my controller is. <laughs> Shaking uncontrollably. That's good. Uh, okay. Here we go. Oh, uh, the developer is in the chat. Hello. Welcome. Thanks for joining us on Twitch. Okay, this here we go. This is intense. He's going to watch our finale here. <laughs> We're going to pull choke. it so fast. Don't choke. Survival. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Oh, uh, damn. There you go. Oh, dang. Uh, that's Hyperdot, everybody. Um, objectively better than Dark Crystal no, Age of so. Tactics and the Resistance, I guess, if you want. Uh, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, Minmax uh, is supported in part by uh, Hyperdot uh, throughout the month here. And so you can yeah. hear us talk about them on the, on the Minmax Show podcast, but we didn't do that, do this stream because of them. Uh, it's just, hey, it's a cool game that came out. We want to get it in front of more eyeballs. And also they support Minmax. So if you like what you see, and you can play with up to four players and stuff. Uh, check them out and send uh, send them a nice message. I think they'd yeah. appreciate it. Cool. All right. Thanks for watching the great Cody Hunt uh, for this week. Next week we'll be back with even more options of and great people, games from 2020. Yeah. Perhaps. Uh, not Serial. He'll still be in Japan. Oh yeah. Um, but uh, hopefully Kyle and maybe some other folks as well. Uh, and look forward to a new voice from Minmax on the Minmax Show podcast this week. That's right. Which will be going live for five dollars supporters tomorrow, and then for everybody else on Thursday. All right, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Bye.